Hey there! Hey, as an older person, you got to be much more careful about moving stuff, whether you want to admit it or not. And I want to show you some not very expensive things that I'm doing. Now, this car here is uh, one of those uh, Harbor Freight uh, version of a die cart. And it's pretty lightweight, but it's plenty good enough to handle a lot of accessories. And I screwed a piece of... Uh, plywood down on the top of it here. And what I'm going to do, see this vise here weighs about a hundred pounds and it's, it's very, very heavy and it's a, you don't want to drop this and you don't want to hurt yourself with it. So I can raise it up. I got this little box here that I can set it on and I can slide it on this rotary table or slide it off like that. Then I'll pull it back a little bit. Then I can lower it. And I got a holder down here for it. So I'll pull it over here. And it's downhill. <laughs> and if I have to, I can use that board there. So I can just slide it down and not really hold the weight. I could have made that a little more sturdy. It's not that easy, but it's not that hard. Okay, whoop, got it. Slide it back a little bit. Okay, that's how I handle that. Then I move the carp out. Okay, I got another, I got another, uh, I used another device on some other things and this cart, and uh, I'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay, bye for a minute here. Hey, you know, when you got a little shack like this, there's no way to put an overhead, uh, crane or anything and pull the whole darn building down. So I have to do everything from the ground and uh, I have doctor's orders that I'm not supposed to uh, lift more than 35 pounds due to all the surgeries I had. But I fudged that up to 45 pounds anyway. <laughs> but I got a rotary table here. It weighs about 120 pounds and I'm going to show the, the cheap stuff that I picked up at Arbor Freight to do it. And this, to get in there, this is an ATV motorcycle lift. And it's probably one of the most terrible ATV motorcycle lifts ever made. Because uh, if you lift up your 800-pound Harley-Davidson, you're going to probably dump it on you. You know, <laughs> I don't know what kind of motorcycle you can lift with this, but I uh, repurposed uh, it as a rotary table and vice lift. So I made this adapter board here out of uh, technical plywood. <laughs> and it fits right in that little square. And I can uh, jack it up here. And what I do is generally get what I'm transferring to. See, I can't slide that lift table here. But I can get this in there. See, and I get it just a little lower. Now I'm going to get in there. And I do have knee pads. Knee pads. Knee pads. You need that when you're old. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to grab that rotary table. And I'm going to slide it downhill onto that board. If I can, without squishing my fingers. There it is. 120 pounds right there. 10 inch uh, Yuasa, also known as a Yauza rotary table. Okay, now I'm going to put this rotary table up on the milling machine table here. And I'll bring this up all the way. And you can see it doesn't go very high. Okay. That's as high as it goes. And the knee's not going to go much lower here. And that's too much for me to lift. 
So I got this. And I already plucked that old toolbox out from, from there. So I'll go ahead and lift this up. Just a little bit lower than that rotary table. Now grab it and wrestle it on there. There it is. It's like this conveniently out of the way. Now I'm going to put the rotary table up on the milling machine. take another board like this I got a little stop on it and it'll keep it from pushing off okay so I'm going to grab this rotary table get it on there don't drop it on myself there we go ease it on there there it is 120 pounds better than lifting it okay so this is what I have to do and uh, I found a little uh, uh, ATV jack handy I can get it around I'll be able to get uh, the heavy chucks on the axles in the same way so this is how I do it I thought I'd show you and I'll be back with uh, playing around with the uh, pallet jack and a hard edge out there in a while. Okay, go. Hey, I'm going to show the tooling that I put together for this hard inch HC chucker. And I did it on a budget. I got, I got the machine for practically nothing and I don't want to put a lot into it. And I'll show you what I did. Now, these tool holders here are for the newer um, automatic chucker. And they take half inch tools and they're the wrong height for the, the older HC. Now the HC, if you, this is a 3 8 bit, and you can just clamp that down and it's automatically on center, okay? You can't put a tailstock on this because the turret won't go far enough out of the way that direction. You could put a tailstock on it, but the only thing you can turn is something slightly less than 3 8 of an inch that will go across the turret. I wanted to make that clear. So a half inch tool bit, which that is, is too high even though the cutters, the, it, it, it won't work um, on, on this machine clamping like that. But what I did here, let me see if I can rotate that, is I remade the wedges, easier to show one here, so they're thinner, okay? And that drops the tool down low enough to use on the HC chucker. So, I've, the tools I've gathered uh, are, uh, here's a collet holder, and here's, uh, I got three holders like that, like that one. And a drill chuck holder, you can hold a drill chuck with that, and five eighths, and uh, this is just a clamp that will just clamp a tool like that down, see? So you just clamp tools down with a clamp like that. Okay, now the other tool I got here, rotated it around, and this is that angle cutting slide. I showed it on, um, on another video. I'm really glad to find this. You can clamp it, set it with a protractor at any angle, and uh, it has a lever here that works it. So you can cut. Oh. Uh, just about an inch, but that's enough in a lot of circumstances. Um, I stuck a half inch boring bar in there. You can cut on the back side or uh, turn it upside down and, and cut on the front side. So you can use a boring bar to um, 
cut angles. Really, you know, either way, it's really a nice accessory to have. Now, what I'm going to show is moving this thing. It's not very hard. And, uh, you know, many people, I don't know if I've ever seen uh, one of these moved. And it's uh, almost 1,800 pounds, I think. So uh, I'm going to move this. I'll get a pallet jack. I'll show you. I want to slide it <clears throat> all the way that way. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit. I got a cheater bar here if I need it. Move it over a little. <laughs> See if I can slide it in there in a good spot. A little bit heavy on the head side here. I think that's about right. That'll work to move the end. No, well, I'm gonna have to get a little higher, I think. Okay. Hold on. I think I might have to find a shorter board. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'll be back. Found the sticks I needed behind the tire, of course. Okay, I'm going to stick these right under the center here of the cabinet. Right about there, I guess, would be the best spot. Good right there. Okay. No, nope. down again. If I can push it over. There we go. I want to get it sitting on that jack. I don't want it to come off. A little bit too much. That's it. Okay, it's up in the air. This uh, concrete is pretty hard to move stuff on because it's so rough, so I do this. Here it go. Get my boards out of there. That's good. So, get my sticks here. 
Heal where that cabinet is. Kind of wish I had eyes on my fingers here. There's that one that's getting away from me. I'm gonna go high on it here a little bit. Almost kind of right about there. There's the cabinet. I spend a lot of time on the ground, I really do. Get those pieces of wood on top of each other. Of course, there's better ways to do things. Okay, let's see. Looking good. I'm going to uh, go ahead and lift it up from the front here again and put a regular board under it because I don't like them sitting like that. Okay, back in a second. Okay, back here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is get this heavy vise off this table in this uh, arbor press. There's a little uh, three inch vise there, that's not a problem. But I got to get these heavy things off. This is over 100 pounds. This thing here is almost 200 pounds. And uh, so I'll just slide them over here onto the table. And uh, for now, I'm going to just shove this vise uh, under the truck until I. Uh, <laughs> then I can also pick the vise up from the ground. I want to point out about this jack is that you can put a couple of two by fours here or a four by four and you can take something off the floor like a like a 12 inch chuck or something and get on there okay so you can kind of get stuff off the floor pretty easy with this and uh, another thing i can do with this thing is i can slide this under the table here and I got the bottom shelf reinforced. But it's too heavy with that stuff on there and out of balance. But I can lift the, the whole table up and move it. And I can put the jack under this and it just pull the table out the door, which I'm going to do after I unload this stuff. But I thought I'd show you some of the things I can do with these uh, not real expensive things from Harbor Freight. Like I said, the, the, the motorcycle jack is uh, a terrible motorcycle jack, but it's handy for getting into tight areas. Okay, well, I'll be back later with some heavy moving.